I have been the only woman in the room many, many times. A lot of times people assume I'm my boss's assistant. They said hello to the CFO, hello to the CTO, and then by the time the investor shook my hand, they said, you must be the assistant from the bank. And I said, no, I'm founder, CEO, chairwoman of care.com. All of us have had some moment in our life when we've known underlying that comment or underlying that decision about my next step has been something that has to do with my race and my gender. I don't own it. I think that's someone else's problem and I believe as women and as people of color, we have to fight that wherever we see it. We need to make sure the record is correct and reflects the contribution of women in business and in other areas of our community and in our society. It's important because there are lots of women in business here in Boston. They're making real contributions to the civic fabric of the community as well as the contributions to their companies. Women in Boston are doing amazing things across all of our sectors, in government, in the corporate sector, and in nonprofits. We've seen what we can do in Capitol Hill. We've seen the changes that have taken place in Congress, but in the private sector too, in corporate America, there's opportunities for women to take on leadership roles, I feel, like never before. The Women's Network mission is tied to the Chamber's overall mission, which is for people to thrive in Boston. And women are half of the population. They make up the workforce, and we have to help support them. The Women's Network in Boston is the strongest I've seen anywhere, and I've lived all over the country. It's a really, really powerful group that support one another, care about each other, look out for each other, and learn from each other. I describe the women in the Women's Network as powerhouses. They are the women that keep Boston running, that often are the ones that are going above and beyond in their roles, and they're the ones that are leading the way. There's a thought or a perception that women compete with each other, and I've found that women are really here to help each other and build each other up. I think the Chamber is at the forefront of helping women. It's taken the lead on equal pay, on paid leave, on really showcasing women. Inclusion really is the big prize, and that's a cultural journey. That's making sure everybody, men and women, feel included at work, feel included in the organization. Everybody has a role to play, and men particularly have a role to play at every level in the organization. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. They have to help everybody, including all the women in the organization, feel included. This year we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Women's Network. We really started this work in Greater Boston and we're incredibly proud of it. But we're not stopping there. We're really focused on Women's Network 2.0. What are the next 25 years going to bring? How are we going to move the needle? What we want to do at the Chamber, I think, is really nurture a culture, not only in each workplace, but as a whole in the business community, that allows women to be all in and to contribute everything they can contribute. I think to be all in is for us to do less talking and do more doing. To be all in means to bring my whole self to work and never make excuses for the fact that I'm young. It means bringing all of your energy and your willingness to work hard, your beliefs and values to the table. Not feeling afraid to express them because people around the table may not share them. It means being willing to stand up and be a part of the fight. More and more women are finding their voice. They're speaking up. They're calling people out on what they see as unconscious or maybe sometimes conscious bias and asking for people to be mindful that I'm here, I have a voice, and I have something that I want to share. I am all in. I'm all in. All in. Boston business women are all in. Women in business are all in. Women entrepreneurs are all in. Women in Boston are all in.